Okay, so in our last video, we had a hexagon drawn and uh, obviously it was quite easy to just go through and quickly change our number ranges and our sides here. But this time around, we're going to be looking at doing something a little bit different. We're going to want to build a circle. Now, interestingly, when we have a look at a circle, uh, we can break it up into a couple of different ways of doing it. One of them doesn't actually make a circle, but it makes something that looks like a circle and one builds a circle. So to begin with, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly create a little variable here. I'm going to say number of sides equals 10. Okay, now you know that when we run our hexagon, uh, we got our hexagon shape and it looked like a hexagon. But if I quickly come into here and say that I want my number range to be based on number of sides and my um, degrees to divide by number of sides, what I end up with... Uh, in this example super quickly is not a circle just to make that super clear But I'm going to save that one and run that module grab the output here. You can see that I get a um, Decagon which is a ten-sided shape and that's starting to look more and more circular now obviously with the more sides that I add in the uh, More times it's going to rotate through that loop the thing that we need to be really careful with is that if we make it 50 size uh, and do 360, it will not fit on our um, graphics output. So I'm going to quickly grab that, move it over here, and you can see that our turtle is slowly racing around on our graphics output and drawing us a 360-sided shape, which I don't know about you, but that looks pretty circular to me. Now, it isn't actually a perfect circle, um, and it is difficult to get a perfect circle drawn in this type of resolution on our turtle graphics output, uh, but that does draw a circle for us um, in the best sense of the word. So there we go. So we've got number of sides equals 360. We divide 360 divided by 360, which means that in essence, we're turning one degree each time, and we rotate uh, or repeat that 360 times. Now there is another way that you can draw a circle and I'm going to show you that really quickly now. So if I, could, I do turtle.circle and I tell it how big I want the radius to be. So I'm going to say 100 there. I'm going to leave this here so that you can see the difference. So when we run our code, uh, obviously it starts and our turtle races around and draws us our code. I'm going to open this one here. So it's doing this section here where it's repeating or iterating over that uh, code 360 times. And then we get this one here, where it's gonna draw a circle that has the radius of 100. So you saw that circle get drawn really, really quickly. Okay, so there are two quite efficient ways of drawing a circle. Uh, obviously, this is much more efficient than writing forward and uh, turn by one degree 360 times so that would give us 720 lines of code uh, obviously if we replace num sides with 360 we'd cut that down to just three lines of code as well so that's a huge saving uh, but this obviously just makes it nice and quick and easy for us so that if we wanted to update this to again draw us a 10 sided shape we can quickly type in 10 there uh, run our module i'll grab that and bring it on screen for you so you can see that oh because it's forward to it's drawn the teeniest tiniest little decagon behind the uh, turtle there so you can't really see it but you get the idea so we can use that variable to very quickly allow us to change how many sides our shape is going to have uh, both in terms of the number range and also how far it rotates and turns uh, now when we do look for a circle we can do that pretty quick and easy over here by just using the circle command instead now in the next video, I'm going to show you something a little bit more complex. We're still going to only be drawing basic shapes, uh, but it's going to be a little bit more interesting in the way in which we do it because we're going to be using a thing called a nested loop. So I'll see you over in the next video shortly.